सो हेलो एवरी वन लास्ट टाइम वी सॉ दैट हाउ वी कैन स्कोर सेवेंटी फाइव प्लस मार्क्स इन सेवेंटी फाइव डेज फॉर फाइनेंस एंड मैनेजमेंट फॉर आर बी आई ग्रेड बी एग्जाम ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर वेलकम टू ऑल यूबोर्ड रेगुलेटरी बॉडीज एंड टूडे विल डिस्कस हाउ टू स्कोर सेवेंटी फाइव प्लस मार्क्स इन सेवेंटी फाइव डेज फॉर इकोनॉमिक एंड सोशल इश्यूज सो देर आर मेनी स्टूडेंट्स हु इन द कमेंट सेक्शन मेन्शन दैट इट वॉज अ रियली एनरिचिंग वीडियो and we need a same video for strategizing for esi how can you score 75 marks please guide us so that's why we are bringing this particular session we'll directly discuss how we can score maximum in esi through this following list of contents first we'll discuss about target score but to come to a target score as you are going for rbi grade b exam if you go just blinded without knowing what the previous year cutoffs are without go- knowing what the target m- score should be then it is very difficult that how you will clear phase 1 and especially phase 2 exam when we are talking about esi you should know that overall phase 2 exam is of 300 marks of which esi is almost 100 to 140 marks even when you consider one particular essay which is asked from the economic topics only if you strategize enough and look at it then esi gives us huge chunk of marks from those 300 marks which are totally from phase 2 examination that is why we should know not only how much we will score in esi but in each question how much we can score how we can prepare for multiple choice questions as well as descriptive questions so that we score maximum and here we are targeting yes out of 100 75 plus marks so how to get that so that we will be discussing first based on cutoff analysis and target score second thing we will discuss about analysis of previous year questions in which you will understand today which are the important topics and those topics which are repeated always in rbi grade b exam we will see the previous year analysis of 3 years priority list of topics i'll give you the overall table of contents according to the syllabus given by rbi grade b exam for economic and social issues i'll tell you which are the priority topics priority 1 second and third and lastly time management and overall strategy so that you can ace and get maximum marks in esi in rbi grade b exam first we all know what the exam pattern is so when i'm talking about exam pattern so we know that overall three papers are there paper 1 economic and social issues for 100 marks paper 2 which is english descriptive for 100 marks and paper 3 general finance and management which we have already discussed that how to score 75 plus marks in finance and management we are talking about esi we know that 50 marks out of 100 are from multiple choice questions and remaining 50 are from descriptive questions okay so this is somewhat the overall structure of esi paper what is it so paper 1 economic and social issues total it is for 100 marks but these 100 marks are split into 50% mcq and 50% descriptive in mcqs you will be having total 30 questions so you will say sir 30 question how come they are for 50 marks so in 30 question 20 questions are for 2 marks which gives total of 40 marks and 10 questions for 1 mark which gives you total 10 marks 40 plus 10 50 marks so total descriptive is of 50 mark a total objective questions multiple choice questions are for 50 marks now remaining 50 questions are from descriptive let us discuss those again descriptive questions when we are talking about total number of questions are 6 out of the 6 questions you have to solve any 4 but there is a again distribution here how the distribution is there so this 6 question are splitted on the number of marks three questions are for 15 marks three questions are for 10 marks this three question which are for 15 marks out of that you have to solve any 2 which means 15 plus 15 30 marks these three questions which are for 10 marks you have to solve any two that is 20 marks which total gives us 50 marks 50 marks objective 50 marks descriptive in total your 100 marks so now let us discuss how we can strategize these are the cutoffs for your overall rbi grade b phase 2 examination look at it these are the cutoff for only phase 2 exam and this is the overall cutoff we already know that average marks which are scored in interview are 40 to 50 marks now if you are going to get an average score in interview 40 to 50 we all should be knowing what our target mark should be there for the only phase 
exam. So when we are talking about only phase two exam, look at the overall cutoffs only for phase two exam. Out of 300, in 2023, it was 169. In 2022, it was 171. In 2021, it was 187. And then 2019, 193. As you know, if you see at this overall maximum and minimum marks, you will get an idea that average cutoff for phase 2 examination is 180 plus marks. So if you score 180 plus marks, add 40 to 50 marks in interview, you will clear the overall cutoff which is close to 230. Am I right? It is more clear. So if you want to get 180, 180 marks in your phase 2 examination, we already have discussed that you have to get 75 plus marks in finance and management. Now we are discussing you have to get 75 plus marks in ESI. So in total here your score will become almost 150 marks and 150 marks when we are looking at then English descriptive also if you score better then you can go beyond 180 in this way. So here is an idea or maybe here is an strategy how you can easily clear phase 2 examination without being dependent on interview marks. 75 plus marks score in finance and management, 75 plus score in your ESI. That is why we have put the target score 75 plus. Now how to get this? If we are getting 75, if we want to get 75 plus marks in ESI, how to split it? We already know MCQ is descriptive. In MCQ you should get 35 plus marks. I will give a careful reminder to you. ESI MCQs, it may be in phase 1, it may be in phase 2. These are very current oriented and dynamic in nature. You can expect two marker questions, very difficult with multiple statement, complex questions, paragraph based questions, which definitely come more from social issues, which include social sector schemes, ministry schemes, PIB news, as well as reports, indices, etc. Considering this, therefore, we are considering you can get 35 plus marks there if you prepare enough. Overall, this 35 marks depend on your hard work, how much you are covering your backlog and how daily you are revising PIB and your overall government schemes. Descriptive when we talk about most of the ESI descriptive questions are from static ESI which will give you 40 plus marks and this makes your tally 70 to 75 mar marks or 75 plus marks. Now when we look at it how now we will score in this particular ESI section or paper one. So for that we have to now jump into previous year question analysis. We'll start with the year of 2023. We'll start with objective part that is 50 marks which come from objective section. If you see, we can break ESI into two parts. Economics that is first almost 10 to 12 chapters and remaining chapters whatever are there, those are from your social issues. Let's see for last two to three years what is the trend. So look at it, economics, nine objective questions were asked which were for 17 marks. Similarly, social issues, 21 questions were asked, which were for 33 marks. What does this tell us? It tells that in objective part, social issues questions were heavily asked. Therefore, their mark distribution is almost twice that of economics question. So it means that multiple government schemes related to ministries, social sector schemes, these all were asked. And that is why your daily PIB analysis and government schemes, whatever sessions are there, which are very, very important. If you don't know how to prepare them, Olive Board Regulatory Bodies YouTube channel is there. You can subscribe it. You will get notification. We have also started government schemes daily playlist. Not only that, we bring government scheme compilations also, which is taken by Lakshmi ma'am. Government scheme individual sessions taken by Pooja ma'am. PIB sessions taken by Lakshmi ma'am again. And daily current affairs taken by Pooja ma'am. Considering this, you can score really very, very high in this objective part if you are social issues, that is social sector schemes and overall government schemes and PIB news is very, very clear. Let's see the second part descriptive of the year of 2023. The topics are sustainable development and environmental issues, urbanization and migration, gender issues, industrial development, monetary policy since the reforms of 1991, poverty alleviation and employment generation. From each of this topic, one, one question came in descriptive where we see sustainable development, urbanization and migration and gender issues. These were for 15 marks and the remaining questions were for your 10 marks. If you observe carefully, this 10 marker questions were related to overall 
economic development in India, such as monetary policy, opening of economy in 1991, industrial development, and some part of poverty alleviation. Look at it very carefully. All these questions are completely static. There is no a uh, little bit hint also of current affairs here. So MCQs, you will get a huge chunk of current affairs and dynamic questions. Whereas descriptive, when we are talking about, you will get static syllabus related question. Of course, this would be also uh, repeating in the exam based on the importance of that particular topic in a year. For example, when you consider previous year question of 2023 or maybe 2022, you will get an idea that multiple questions were asked on World Trade Organization, WTO. So therefore, if a particular institution, organization or any of the topic from ESI syllabus, if it is into the news, then definitely you can expect a static question from it. Let's move to the next year 2022. Economic question 11, social issues question 19. Therefore, again you see social issues, Marx contribution is more than economics. For two years straight, multiple question and maximum question were asked from government schemes and PIB. So, this year, sir, what should we do? Should we concentrate more on government scheme and PIB? Many of the students would be actually concluding that we will just prepare for PIB and government schemes. Don't do that because we are going to see the trend is not end yet. We have to see 2021 also. So therefore, first look at it that for 2023 and 2022, yes, social issues, multiple question or maximum questions and marks were asked in the objective part. In descriptive part, if you see, here the topics have been changed. So each year it's not fixed that almost these topics only repeat. Yes, one, two topics are there which are repeated, which I'll tell you. Urbanization and migration, financial system, finance, economic history of India, Indian monetary and financial markets, monetary policy since reforms of 1991 and social sector in India. So this has been repeated for two years straight. Again, one, one, one question from this topic, respectively for 15 marks and 10 marker. This tells you that overall complete ESI syllabus and all the important topics and chapter of ESI are important. You never know which topics are being asked in the exam. The only reference would be yes, the current affairs, which is the institution, which is the syllabus part, which is into the news this year or maybe last six to eight months. Then next we'll jump to the, the third year that is 2021. Now surprisingly, if you see for 2023 and 2022, we saw that social issues questions were maximum. But in the year of 2021, from economics, there were 22 questions and only eight questions from social issues. It means that here it's completely dependent on RBI that from where, from either economics or social issues, which completely comes from either PIB or government schemes. That would be completely dependent on RBI that which section gives more questions or maybe more number of marks. So do not conclude that I will just prepare for economic topics or I'll just prepare for social sector schemes. I will recommend you that give a equal proportionate preparation period or duration for the preparation of economics topics also as well as social issues topics when it is the context of MCQs or objective based questions. One thing is there definitely that when you are preparing, always use a priority of social issues. That is complete government schemes first, PIB news first, and then you can move to the economics topics. We cannot conclude that in 2024, the number of questions from economics would be high or maybe the number of questions from social issues would be high. But for last two years, social issues have been heavily there in the exam. So definitely you can at least start your preparation with these. So this makes your PIB analysis and government schemes one of the pillars of ESI preparation. Next, descriptive part. Again, let's go through the topics. Public finance, poverty elevation. This is a repeated topic. Opening of economy, again 1991 repeated topic. Priority recommendation of economic survey and budget, demographic trend and sustainable development and issues. Again, repeated topic. So now you get an idea that there are some topics which are repeating in exam for all the three to five years. If you see one 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 question has come for respective 15 to 10 marks. Now you will understand that there are only certain topics which you need to prepare. So therefore, out of the whole syllabus, 
of maybe 20 to 24 chapters. You don't need to prepare 24 chapters for descriptive answer writing. Just need to prepare important 12, maybe for the year of 2021, for the year of 2022, and for the year of 2023. Yes. So pick all this topic. You can take the screenshots and you can prepare for them. Again, what is the conclusion for descriptive answer writing? The conclusion is simple. Prepare the static and conceptual part very, very clearly. When, it, when we take the example, for example, of opening of Indian economy, you should be knowing what was the BOP crisis, what happened during the opening of the economy, okay? Overall, what was the impact on all the three sectors, okay? Service sector, okay? Primary, secondary, tertiary sector, agriculture, how it transformed. All these things you should be doing, very, very important. For each topics, when you are going to cover all the subtopics also, definitely, if any question comes, you can answer it very, very clearly. A good example could be, as I told you, that in last three years, previous year question, you can see that there is always a question on an international organization. It may be WTO or IMF. So, therefore, you can pick such topics based on the previous year questions and you can prepare for them. This is the best way of preparing for descriptive answers. Now, this is the TOC for ESI. These are all the topics. When you, when you look at all these topics, you will get an idea that introduction to economics when we are talking about to your demographic trends. So the first green color chapters, whatever we are looking at, you will get an idea that these are your first priority and very important topics, which include introduction to economics, measurement of growth, poverty alleviation, employment generation, environmental issues, sustainable development. Okay. These are very, very important as these are the foundation of economic and social issues. This is where your basics of economy starts. As we also know from poverty alleviation, employment generation, environmental issues and sustainable development, we have seen multiple descriptive questions also and objective questions also. That is why these are very important and these should be completed first. Then the next yellow color topics which are which you can see are important topics which are history of Indian economy, agriculture sector, industrial sector and policy, labor policy, service sector, monetary policy, fiscal policy and public finance, role of RBI, role of Indian banks, political economy, balance of payment, new economic policy and reforms and foreign trade policy. All these are a combination of macroeconomic and microeconomic topics, important but for these topics these topics heavily either repeat in descriptive part or objective part. You from the yellow topics, you cannot expect maximum marks to come in the RBI grade B phase two exam. Therefore, you have to compulsorily do it. Okay. But you can do it on a second priority. The blue color topics when we are looking at which includes international economic institutions, international economic issues, social issues such as demographic trends, multiculturalism, urbanization, migration and social justice. These topics are with high output to input ratio. It means that you can prepare them for a very short time and you can end up getting really very high marks. There is always a descriptive question based on economic institution, economic issues and based on demographic trends, multi urbanization, migration and social justice topics. So therefore, from this you will understand what is the real priority. You have to prepare green first, then yellow and blue. You have to prepare them very, very well. Now let us talk about all these topics and what is your priority. If you want to prepare ESI and you, if you want to prepare ESI topics in maybe 25 to 35 or 40 days, then first 25 days you have to prepare all our first and second priority topics, which includes from introduction to economy to your foreign trade and policy. And in last 10 days, you can prepare your high output to input topics, which include international economic institutions, economic issues and demographic trends. So in this way, you can prepare overall the TOC that is table of content for economics. I hope you get an idea. You can take the screenshot for your understanding. So once you get an idea within this 35 to 40 days, you can complete the whole syllabus for the ESI. Now, when we talk about ESI, almost 60% or more than 60% of the questions as well as mark distribution is totally dependent on current affairs or its dynamic nature. So what to do in that context? So when you're looking at strategy for ESI, topics like government schemes and campaigns, reports and indices, international and regional organization, 
national and international current events, committees, GDP forecast, constitution articles, and static ESI. These are the preferential topics how you can start your preparation. You can prepare them individually or you can do it, do the preparation for six to eight months for all of these topics. Next is the strategy when it comes to the current affairs topics and what are the sources. First is government schemes and campaigns. What to do for that? Schemes in news and PIB analysis done by Lakshmi ma'am for last six months. Static schemes and landmark schemes. You can see the playlist on our YouTube channel as well as revision sessions on Olive Board Regulatory Bodies YouTube channel. It's one stop solution. Second, reports and indices. These are the reports like budget, economic survey, PLFS, NH, uh, NFHS, then Aisha report, ESA report, uh, census, state of forest report, 15 finance commission, multidimensional poverty index and various other socio-economic reports which are important. Other than that, international and regional organizations, it includes from WTO, World Trade Organization, Asian, OECD, WEF, not only the organizations but also their reports. Okay, You have to cover all of these and these are the sources from which you can prepare. Then how to prepare for the rest of the topics such as national and international current events. Just follow PIB analysis by Lakshmi ma'am for six months. Daily current affairs for three months which has been done by Pooja ma'am. Even monthly compilation videos and weekly compilations videos are also done. Next, committees which co are covered in daily current affairs by Pooja ma'am. GDP forecast again covered by Pooja ma'am. Constitutional articles you can selectively read from internet which are related to fundamental rights, fundamental duties, DPSP, panchayat, municipalities that is economic part which is mentioned in the our polity. Static part you can definitely go through the olive board notes as already we have launched RBI grade B learn pack or maybe Nitin Singhania or Ramesh Singh book you can also refer. Apart from that along with the preparation you can add it with the mock tests. So overall when you are preparing for ESI I think now you get an idea how you can score for 75 plus marks. Now if you are still looking for ESI preparation or overall if you still want to start your preparation this is the best opportunity you can go through our olive board courses you will get an idea that how you can still start preparing for RBI grade B exam. So just you can go here in the regulatory body section already the offer great exam fest offer is going on. So in this these are all our RBI grade B courses for ESI also live lectures are going right now. You can go in our latest RBI grade B 2024 live crash course or you can even go if you need guidance personalized mentorship you can go for our personalized mentorship program where you get one on one session with our all India rank one topper. So these are the courses definitely which can help you for your preparation. If you are that person who just need notes we have also launched RBI grade B learn pack where you get notes mock tests and current affairs. Thank you very much and I hope in this session you understood that how you can score 75 plus marks in economic and social issues. Thank you.